Hello. It's been a while since we last all caught up. So, what have we been doing at Walk Ride Gem over the last year? Come with me and we'll find out. In Manchester, we had this bollard installed to make sure that this cycleway was clear of pavement parking. And our local group, Walk Ride Wally Rain, delivered this school street. It enables kids to walk, to scoot, and cycle to school. Cycling in Manchester can be quite the bumpy rock. That's why we've been feeding back to make sure that all new routes are machine laid and truly smooth. On the Oxford Road Cycleway, we've had the highest ridership ever in 2022. We've been monitoring the data. We've been scrutinising the B network to make sure that parks like this in Salford have level access for disabled people and people cycling. As well as level access, we've been holding local authorities to account to make sure that all entrances to parks and leisure facilities in Greater Manchester have minimum width requirements so that disabled people can access green space and walking and cycling infrastructure. But there is still plenty of work to do. Not only that, we've been working with councils to make sure that pavements are for people and not for cars. Here in Salford, we managed to get double yellow lines installed so that cars stay off the pavement. After successful campaigning in Cholton, we managed to prevent this bridge from closing for six months. It's a vital link for people living here. This path in Wigan Troll was practically unridable. From the help of the local MP, volunteers dug it up over a few miles and made sure that everyone could use it. We're campaigning on multiple policies in our pedestrian manifesto. One such example is short crossing times. Over in Stockport, our local groups have been campaigning successfully to have Marketplace and the Underbank pedestrianised. Over in Romley, we closed the main high street for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Here's a small extract from a video that was made. We've been busy in Romley. Our local campaign group put a bid in with the council to install this pedestrian crossing outside the train station. So, that's a wrap for 2022. We look forward to seeing what the local groups get up to in the coming year to enable the network to succeed.